And welcome back to New Beginnings, episode 13. Farmer Mike here, and I have been busy, busy, busy. Uh, I'm just doing some work around the property here. Uh, getting some more stuff done to our new house. Uh, and it's been about a week since my last vlog, and a lot has uh, been done. I've uh, got a lot done in the last week. And as you can see... The house has come along uh, quite a lot since uh, the last vlog, so I have a lot to uh, get all of you caught up on uh, that's happened over the last week. So one of the first things I want to show you is I got a, uh, bought a new power wash, power washer for cleaning equipment, vehicles, and whatnot. Uh, I also gotta clean the truck, speaking of. So I'm gonna back this truck up over there and uh, start getting it uh, cleaned up. And uh, after that, I'm gonna go around and show you uh, show you uh, all, all the new stuff that uh, has been going on around my wife and I's life. Well, I'm just about done cleaning my pickup. It was uh, way past due for a cleaning. So there. Looks a lot better. All right. So, I want to show everyone some, uh, some things and what my wife and I have been up to for the last week. So, come along and uh, I will show you some exciting things that have been happening. So, if you remember... The guy I used to work for doing construction, his name is Paul, by the way. Uh, he's an older guy, and he wanted to sell all of his equipment, sell the business off. He didn't have any kids to pass it down to, and he wanted to retire. And every, pretty much everybody but me that worked for him was older. So he's been trying to get me to buy his equipment and his uh, gravel pit. And really all I wanted to buy was his gravel pit. But he gave me a deal that I really couldn't refuse. So I went ahead and bought the gravel pit as well as some of his other equipment. He kind of gave me a package deal at a good cost and basically let me pick out the equipment that I wanted to buy. Uh, so what I bought from him was this excavator with two bucket attachments, as well as this front end loader, and this bulldozer. Uh, you'll also notice some other equipment around here. And what happened there was, I went to the same auction that he went to, where he was selling off the rest of his equipment, and I wanted to see what other things were uh, being sold there for, for heavy equipment and whatnot. So I ended up purchasing this uh, backhoe, with two uh, bucket attachments, this roller, this Mac dump truck, and this Mac tractor trailer truck with a flatbed so I can haul equipment around with. Um, all of this stuff is older and used, and I got good deals on it. So, basically, why I went out and bought all this stuff and took Paul up on his offer with the gravel pit and equipment is I wanted to get into uh, the construction business as well as farming um, at some point. But what kind of forced my hand to do it sooner than later is that where I started off farming first... Uh, 
I'm not going to make any money back on farming until harvest time, which will be at the end of the year. So there's a long stretch between now and then that I need to have more income coming in. Uh, the wife and I both agreed when I get done my job working for Paul, uh, as well as the gentleman I did some logging for, that I would get done there so that I could concentrate on getting uh, the property uh, purchased and the house built and getting the our new businesses established. But with that came a sacrifice of me not working. And uh, so it all more or less relies on my wife to bring in the income. Uh, and she's going to college full-time and working part-time at Tractor Supply. So that doesn't bring a whole lot of income in. So I had... Uh, I had to do something that was going to bring income in sooner than later. So basically while I'm farming and getting potatoes planted, there's going to be a long stretch of no income. And uh figured now is the time to get into the construction uh, business instead of waiting to do it later. Uh, this is construction season, I guess you could say, because it's, uh, the ground's not frozen. And it's springtime, and people are going to want uh, work done uh, before this coming winter. So, as you know, most of uh, uh, most of our purchases that we've been making have been with loans and our savings money in our, that we've had in our savings account. We had a lot of money in our savings account, so we had to do some shuffling with uh, taking savings out and paying off loans and whatnot. So we spent a lot of our savings on paying off some of our loans, which allowed us to be able to get more loans. So we knew we, knew we were going to have to spend money to make money. So, And there's still more things that we're going to need to get, uh, especially for farming. But what I got here is enough to get us going on construction. Um, but I'm going to still need to buy some some more farming equipment. So I'm going to take a ride down to uh, the area that I'm going to be planting potatoes and uh, show you guys what the next step is on that. All right, we are up to the land where I am planting potatoes. So you can see over here, I've made uh, a few more purchases. Got some more used equipment to uh, get some more farming done. I got this rock picker over here. Uh, the planter slash seeder for planting the potatoes. A fertilizer spreader. And I got some uh, four bags of lime. I had already bought the plow and the cultivator as well as a tractor, if you remember in the last vlog. Uh, so these are the these over here are the new purchases for the farm. So as you can tell from what I have just shown you, between the farming equipment and the construction equipment, the wife and I have spent a lot of money uh, to get where we're at, and we did it in a short amount of time because we're pressed for time. We got to start. You got to start making some money. Uh, so, there's one more thing I want to show you. Uh, but before I do that, my, my goal today is I need to start rock picking uh, that field, cultivating it, and getting lime on it before I can uh, start planting the potato. And that needs to get done soon. Uh, I also want to bring my bulldozer down here and make us make an area because as you can see it's got this ditch that uh, comes through here and it's hard to get uh, the tractor and equipment uh, over to the field from the road without going down into the, into the ditch. So I need to make a spot where I can access this field better. So I'm going to be doing that here first and then once that's done I'm going to start picking away at that field. But let, <clears throat> let me go ahead and sh take you down to our where we're living currently and uh, show you one last little thing that's happened. It's 
so having to uh, get into the construction business sooner than we were planning on uh, is gonna fortunately take some of my time away from getting our house built and getting our property all put together but you know we we gotta get more income coming in that's that's the big thing uh, so it may take a little bit longer getting our house built as well as you know the garage and the shop for farming and construction and, and all that stuff we had planned and it's going to take just a little bit longer to get all that going uh, but you got to do we got to do what we got to do so the wife and I had to make a few sacrifices uh, for financial reasons. So as you can see, there is a yellow 2021, 2021 Ford Bronco sitting over here. You'll also notice there is no Ford pickup. Well, I should say, old for older Ford pickup. The black one that I had is no longer over here. So what we have done is we made a couple sacrifices that we didn't want to make, but we did it for, like I said, for financial reasons. So my wife had a 2022 Toyota Land Cruiser, and I had a 1983 Ford F-250. They are both gone. We decided to get rid of them, sell them, and down... Well, I can't say downgrade. I I got this pickup as an upgrade. Um, and I was planning on keeping my older Ford. I've had it for a lot of years and wanted to just keep it as a vehicle that I wasn't, you know, wasn't a daily driver. Something that I just used maybe on the weekends to ride around in to save on the miles. Uh, my wife downgraded from the 2022 Toyota Land Cruiser uh, to a 2021 Ford Bronco. And I'm not saying she downgraded as far as the brand or the quality of the vehicle. Uh, she downgraded as far as the year. So she went from a 2022 to a 2021. She has just a, just a, just as good of a vehicle as she had with a Toyota. Uh, she likes... She loves this vehicle, uh, so it's not a, it's not really a downgrade. It's just a year older, but uh, it saved us some money. She got this at the new used car dealership. Do you remember uh, that I was part of helping do the groundwork for when I worked for Paul? Um, so yeah, we had to do that for financial reasons to help out with getting us uh, where we need to be financially. Um, I did keep the snow sled. All paid off. It's an older used one. Uh, the pickup was the Ford, the older Ford pickup was uh, was paid off as well. But we knew we could make some money off it because it was in good condition and whatnot. So, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much pretty much all the updates that I can think of that's happened in the last week, which is quite a lot. So I'm gonna head back up to the field and start getting ready to do. Well, actually, no, excuse me. I gotta go get the bulldozer uh, so I can start getting a spot uh, fixed up so I can access the field better. So uh, I'll see you guys and gals back up to the uh, gravel pit. All right, so let's get this bulldozer loaded up here on the on the big red Mac. So I don't know if you can already tell or not, but uh, I'm going with a red color scheme. I didn't have these painted. I, they, I bought them. They were already red. Uh, and I, I do like the color red, and I uh, figured I'd keep the color scheme kind of for the construction part of the business uh, as a red scheme, if possible. I may not be able to stick with that a hundred percent, but... I'm 
fold the ramps. Yeah, it, it's a good running truck, as well as uh, the dump truck. I mean, all this stuff, good shape. You know, like I said, it, they're older and used, but I think they'll get the job done. Okay, so let's go up to the field. It shouldn't take too long getting that little area uh, done with the bulldozer. I have to haul, uh, I actually have to haul a small load of gravel up there as well to build up a spot for the for us to be able to drive across it easier. All right, well, we're all, we are almost to the field here. Let's park her up here, I guess. Hundred percent sure where I want to do this. I feel like it should be maybe I might end up doing a couple spots. I might do one right here. So I think we'll start right here and then uh, do another spot up further, and then we'll have to go. Get some gravel, bring that down. So right now I'm just going to make a few pass, clear out some of this uh, topsoil and whatnot. And come on up a little bit further. Do another one closer to the end of this field. And I may have to do this again on on uh, different spots of the field uh, later on when I start planting uh, more crop in the field. But for right now, I'm just going to do a couple spots in the area of where I'm actually planting. I'm not going to worry about the other parts of the field until I'm actually working in those areas. I think right on this corner. We'll do another spot here. Another entryway. And uh, until I get a, an actual shop for, for my farming equipment and whatnot, I'm kind of just storing them in this corner. And I'm having the same issue uh, with the ditch as I am on this, you know, as I am with the, this side of the field where the 
crop will be getting planted. Um, so both sides are have ditches, and it's making it it's making it hard for me to access either field. So while I'm here, and I hadn't really even, I guess, thought much of doing it until just now, I'm gonna do another entryway into this section. So that it will make it easier for me to access my implements and then attachments and whatnot. My first, my first, and really only goal was to make one one entryway. Uh, that was kind of what I was only planning on doing, but I kind of decided last minute to add this this one as well as that one behind me, and I'm also. I'm going to put one more on this end of the field. Another last minute uh, decision. I guess I was just Racking my brain while I was up here with a bulldozer and thinking, you know, what else what else could I do while I'm up here? And it kind of occurred to me, maybe make a few more entryways uh, for easier ac accessibility to the fields, as well as that section where, where the attachments are. So having my own equipment now will make uh, finishing the property a lot easier because uh, I still have a lot of groundwork that has yet to be done. I kind of wish I had had this equipment uh, from the beginning instead of having to rent, but oh well. So where am I going to... I think I'll go down here just a little bit further. Let's do it right about here. I'm just going to leave the bulldozer here because I'm going to need it here after I go get some gravel that kind of raise up raise up that section where the ditch was so we're going to run back uh, to the tractor trailer truck and then we're going to go back to the gravel pit to load up some gravel in the dump truck so we can start f filling in a few low spots. So we're back at the gravel pit. We can get some uh, gravel loaded up in the dump truck. And it's really not ideal to be doing this in the rain. But I am pressed for time, and I'm going to do it anyway. Just makes uh, doing groundwork like this is harder to do when it's raining and ground is wet. But you got to get it done, and I don't have time to uh, wait around.
Let's see if I can get one more scoop in there. It's gonna hold. We will head on up. Get those uh, entryways filled up with some gravel and then get it smoothed over with the bulldozer. Hopefully the rain lets up here for too long. So this is the last one I get left to do. Uh, I got the other ones all done. We'll go ahead and get this gravel all moved out here. Well there, that is all done, and the rain is, well, it hasn't let up, so I'm going to just call it a day and go home. Uh, didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but this rain is making it hard to uh, do what I need to do. Uh, for, I was fortunate enough to get done what I got done today. Um, so as you can see, that's the first entryway, all graveled, leveled out. Let me go up here and show you the other three. I gotta take the dump truck back down to the gravel pit so I can get my pickup. Here's the other two. Definitely going to make it a lot easier getting in and out of the fields without going down into a ditch. And the last one. And I'll turn right here. I kind of sped through it. I wasn't worried about it being perfect, as it's just uh, an area to access the field without, the, you know, going through the ditch. So it's not it's not my most professional job, but it serves its purpose. Felt a little rushed for time trying to get done because of the rain, uh, and like I said, I just wasn't worried about it being perfect because it's just excess areas for the fields. So that's all I'm going to be able to get done today, thanks to the rain. Not that I'm, I should complain about it. Uh, definitely need the rain, but it makes it hard to get stuff done. But, uh, so yeah. I think my next goal is uh, to get back on the field after the rain stops, hopefully the next day or so, and start uh, Cultivating. Well, actually, I got to get the rock picker out on the field and get the rocks out of the field, cultivate, and get it lime so I can uh, get those potatoes planted. Uh, and then uh, I got to get some jobs lined up for the construction side of things Just to start generating some money in. And, 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 and in between all of that, I got to keep working on 
uh, the property and the house and whatnot. So, until next time, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one.